Hey family, how y'all doing today? I love you all today, I do. Welcome to another encouragement here, fam. I love you, beloved. I love you, beloved. And I know you love me. Hallelujah. We're, we're united as one in, in Mashiach, Yahusha. Um, today, I want to talk to you about a specific subject. We're going to actually be on a subject today. But, but Brother Koya, you always, you always read to us, you know, and that stuff is cool. But every now and then, I want to talk to you about a specific subject. Run through the scriptures and 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 us let's and all of us learn together. Um, I started. I can tell you guys, there's no secret. You're, you know, you know how it goes in the kingdom. I started a fast the other day, and I'm gonna be going to that fast until Saturday. Today is Friday. I started it yesterday morning. Really, I haven't eaten anything since Wednesday night. So just fasting because I want more I want more of y'all and I want to I'm asking them to to grant me obedience during this fast obedience from my heart if I say I'm saved I have to I have to walk in his ways and I'm asking to, to just hear his voice and understand him hear him Hallelujah. So this is what he's been putting on my heart. <coughs> we're going to pray and we're going to get right into it, okay? Let's have a quick prayer. Abba, y'all, thank you for the family of y'all. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Oh, you know I love them, Father. I know you love them unconditionally. You love them way more. You love them in a beautiful, pure way. But you've given me love for the kingdom and for your people, for the family of Yah, and I just pray that I would, through your guidance, Father, through hearing you, your voice, guide them in the right way, only pointing them to you and your glory. Abba Yah, please show up during this time. You say, what well, two or more gather in your name, there you are in the midst of us. So we we invite you to come in to, to spoon feed us of your word of Fill us with your fire, with your spirit. We desire salvation to truly be born again, to truly be authentic. Uh, whether we be Hebrew, Israelite, or Gentile, Father, we have the same heart. We want eternal life. We trust in the finished work of your son, of what he did, Yahushua, when he hung on that tree, pouring out his life's blood. We trust in that finished work. You sent us the Ruach HaKadosh through our repented hearts, through our faith. Only through faith did you give us the spirit, not through the works of the law. Hallelujah. This is what your word says. And so, Father, now we want to know how to turn up the volume and hear your voice. We thank you that you hear us. And we'll be so very careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. And it is in the name of your son, Yahushua Hamashiach, that we do pray and say, Amen. So let it be. Let's get right into it. How, how do I, I want more. This is what you're saying, right? This is what I'm saying. But I need to know how to hear his voice. So we're going to talk about how to hear the voice of Yah speaking. Today. First scripture is, already here and pulled up in Jeremiah chapter 33 and beginning in verse 3 the word of Yah says first of all we are going to get it be patient with me Jeremiah Chapter 33, verse 3, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, you want to hear his voice, the father's voice? The first thing he says is, call unto me. Hallelujah. 
Call out for salvation. Call out for him. Don't call for religion. Don't call for um, just a religious practice. Don't call out just because you you had a moment where you just think that um, that you come to the end of yourself and you really haven't. This is for the ones who are done doing it their way. Call unto me and I will answer thee. You will hear my voice, Yahuwah said. Call unto him from a sincere heart. And I will answer thee. And I will show ye the great and mighty things. Do you believe Yah? Do you believe the word of Yah when it says that? I'll show you mighty things which thou knowest not. Hallelujah. You want to hear the voice? First, you communicate. Talk to him. Call unto him. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next one. The next one in this short teaching here on how to hear his voice. We're turning up the volume of his voice so we can hear from Abaya, so we can hear Yahusha, so that we can really have eternal life. But he says in Mark chapter 4, verse 24, then he added, then he said unto them, pay attention. This is what he said. If you want to hear his voice, pay attention to what you hear. When we go through these scriptures together, when you're in that time of being in the word, don't look at it just like I'm reading my book for the day. This is not how you get a response. We have to pay close attention to what we hear, Mark 24. The closer you listen, this is New Living Translation. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given and you will receive even more. I want to hear your voice, Abba. Yeah, I want to hear your voice, King Yahushua. I'm turning up, we're going to turn up his, the volume of his voice to hear him. We have to pay closer attention and we will hear his voice. John chapter 8 in verse 47 says, He that is of Yahuwah, the he that is, she that is born again truly, trusting the finished work, repelling sin, turning away from wickedness, and just putting your full on trust in him and in his word. He that is of Yahuwah heareth Yahuwah's words. We hear his words. We're listening to his words right now. And then he told them, because he's talking to Pharisees, ye therefore hear them not. Them what? Them words. You don't hear Yah's words. Why? Because you are not of Yah. It is a scary thing, family, to be in this word, go through your whole life and miss out, miss Yah, miss eternal life. Because we're not hearing him, we're not keeping his commandments. That means uh, uh, obeying the word that we read. He say the reason you're not hearing from him, you're not hearing his voice, because you don't belong to him. You, you must be born again, Nicodemus. We must be born again. He hears his children. This is just a message to this scripture is about getting saved so you can begin to hear his voice. Let's go to another one. We're turning up the volume in our relationship with Yah. We're turning the volume up because we want to hear Yahushua's voice. In Isaiah chapter 30, in verse 21, the Bible says this. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice 
behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. We're turning up the volume on hearing Yah's voice, Yahusha's voice, so that we can um, walk with him properly and have true salvation. Well, it says one of the ways that you are going to turn this volume up and hear his voice is wherever you go in your life from now on. Whether you turn to the right or to the left. This is for those that belong to him from the heart. Those are born again. Your ears will hear a voice. You have to be listening. You will hear a voice that almost sounds like it's somebody speaking behind you. That still small voice. Remember, Yah wasn't in the storm. He wasn't in that cloud. He wasn't in. And you know that scripture? But he was in that still small voice. You'll hear a voice behind you. Practice on listening. Practice on hearing his voice. And he will mostly be saying what you've already studied in the word, what you're carrying in your heart. You'll hear the Spirit speak on these things. You'll hear Yah speaking to you. We're talking about turning up the voice of Yahusha in our life to hear his voice. In the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27, the Bible says this. My sheep, Yahushua said. See, when you belong to him, you're his sheep. This is a very exclusive club, crowd, family. Everybody doesn't get into the family of Yah. Only a few will be saved, only a, rem a remnant. But remember, a remnant is a small number. Yahushua said, my sheep, those that belong to me, they hear my voice. He's saying that they, we hear him. So I'm sure you are you should be hearing from him if you belong to him. Beloved. This is an emphatic statement he's making. My sheep, they do hear me. He says, I know them. And they follow me. This is how you know. Are you following him? Or are you following just some person, even like myself on YouTube? You don't follow me, we just study together. We follow him. He said, I know my sheep and they only follow me. When I'm on here, I'm not, reporting, I'm not pointing you to religion. I'm not pointing you to a better way that I know about. I'm not pointing you to other brothers and sisters that I know that have channels I'm pointing you, they're pointing you to Yahushua himself. It's the person of the Mashiach that we're pointing you to. A new living faith, a living hope. He rose from the grave. We pray to him. We don't pray to the Bible. We don't pray to one another. We don't pray to the ancestors. <laughs> my sheep hear my voice. They hear Listen for him. He will speak to you. Just when you get that instruction, don't pretend like just because you don't want to do it all. That wasn't. See, he, he, he says, my sheep, they hear and they listening for my voice. That's why I know them. Select crowd. We're talking about turning up the volume to be able to hear Yahuwah's voice through his son, Yahushua. In John chapter 16, here's another way that we're, we're going to hear from him. See, when we got saved, he gave us uh, the, the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, so we can hear his voice. But when he, the, the Ruach HaKadosh, who is the spirit of truth, comes... He will guide you into all truth. This is how you know his voice, beloved. This is how you can turn up that spiritual amplifier and hear Yahuwah's voice. When you hear something in your spirit that's just like, man, that was the word right there. That's why I say, listen for the scripture. That he, was, he said, I'm going to tell you whatsoever things he's told me. 
the Spirit will speak the scriptures to you. If you've been getting in the scriptures and studying his word to follow it, you will hear Yah speaking to you. And you will hear those truths. He guides us into all truth. He will not speak of his own. He will only speak what he hears. He takes what he gets from the Father, Yahushua does, and gives it to you. And he will tell you what is yet to come. This is why we're always speaking about prophecies and what's coming to pass on this earth and it's going to come to pass. You know that that my words are not going to hit the ground and fail as long as I'm, this is why my ministry is the way it is. As long as I'm speaking his words. See, what he got from the Father and gave to us, I'm taking that and giving it to you. You're going to take these very words that we study on and give them to someone else. We are now beginning to hear from Yahuwah. He will guide you into all truth. He won't speak of his own, but he'll tell you what he has heard from the Father. Remember, Yahushua said, I only do what the Father says. I only say what he tells me to say. He will tell you about the future. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're talking about turning up the volume to be able to hear Yahuwah's voice, Yahushua's voice, because he speaks. Let's go to another scripture. In Romans, this is one of my, my favorites right here. See, we have to pay attention. This is why some of us, we have too much noise around us all the time. Until I got to myself and started dodging sometimes, yes, family, so-called so friends, getting out of that party scene, just stopping having just tons of people around me. Then I begin to hear y'all speak. You got to get the noise from around you. This is why uh, y'all separated. He called Abraham out of his family to a place I will show you, he says. And he know it once I separate him from all the other dissenting voices, I can get him to, to listen to me. I'm a, I only want to bless him and bless his seed. Romans 8, 14 says, for as many as are led by the Ruach of Elohim, the spirit of Yah, these are the sons of Yah. You have to listen quiet, stay in his word, pay attention, and be led of that spirit. See, when y'all told me to come out of certain sins, that was the spirit saying, that's all truth. The devil wouldn't tell me to come out of my sin. This is how you know. The enemy will lie to you. The spirit would only tell you the truth. He told me to come out and stop sleeping around. Get off of that alcohol. Stop smoking drugs. I heard the spirit. I heard, his, I heard his voice. And I was led to come out. Once I put my feet forward and started walking in that way, grace came to empower me to overcome those sins. As many as are led by the spirit of Elohim, the spirit of Yahuwah. The spirit of Yah, Yahuwah, yes. We have to be led by him. These, it says, are the sons. These are the daughters, the one that's led. Are you led by the Ruach family? Are you? Be honest with yourself. And just, if you're not, let's take off from here. Hey, hallelujah. Because Yah wants us to mature in him and begin to walk here after him so there's nothing it is nothing for you to just walk straight into eternity straight into his kingdom because he says my sheep hear my voice remember and another one they won't follow they hear my voice he said I know them you say you know Yahushua does Yahushua, does Yahushua know you why do you call me Lord Lord and you don't do what I say as many as are led of the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah 
are the sons because we're led by his voice. We're listening. I'll kick you out of my, uh, my sphere of connection if you're just a distraction. I'm, I won't let nothing or nobody. This is why Yahushua says, if anyone will come after me, it does not hate his brother, his sister, his father, his mother. Yes, even his own life. He cannot be my disciple. He cannot follow me. See, because he commands commitment. He demands it. So the, the closest people to you have to bow down to what Yah says because you're coming after him. Now, does it mean that we're mean to our family, that we don't love them? No. But Yah knows the true way to love and to get blessing and to get things done in your life. Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahuwah and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right, and everything else will be added unto you. That salvation of your family, of your children, that that job you need, that those bills that need to be paid, those relationships that need to be mended, he'll add those things to you. We're talking about, we're turning up the volume to be able to hear the voice of Yah. Here's another one, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1, great scripture right here. Therefore, we must give more earnest heed to the things we have heard. If you want to hear his voice, beloved, we have to abound in this listening for. We have to abound in this hearing. We must abound in our relationship with him. It say, pay closer attention. This means draw near. If you draw near to Yah, he will draw near to you. You, you say, Brother Koya, I've been paying attention. Well, the scripture here says, you must pay closer attention. Hallelujah. I have to pay a greater attention to him, to his word, to my religion, no, to my friends, no, to Yahusha, Yahuwah, our Elohim, yes. Pay more attention, closer attention to what we have heard. Why, brother? Because it's easy to fall away. It says so that we do not drift away from it. We have to keep coming near Yah to hear his voice. Each day coming near. I, I need you today, Yah. This is my words almost every day. I need you today. I love you and I need you today. Grant me obedience. See, the most important thing that, that he hears coming out of my mouth every day is not money. It's not about relationships. Though those things are money answers a lot of matters. It answers all matters, I would say. It's great to be close with your family, but I need him first. I need him to grant me loving obedience to his word. That's where he hears my sincerity. That's where he can speak to me and I can get right. That's when I line up my thoughts and my heart to be righteous before him. We must pay closer attention, beloved, to hear his voice, to what we have heard, so that we not drift, so we don't drift away. Hallelujah. Let me give you another one. In the book of James, chapter 1, verse 19, uh, the Bible says this. My beloved brothers, understand this. Everyone should be quick to listen. You're listening. Hallelujah. Throw them sevens out. <laughs> Kick them sevens out if you understand what, uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to give to you today. Kick them sevens out as many as you want to. And get in, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. If you haven't yet given the thumbs up, give the thumbs up. Push the notification bell. Everyone should be quick to listen and slow to speak. Sometimes we just need to, I know this is me, family. Sometimes I just need to shut up. We don't hear y'all because we don't shut up. This is what I'm talking about. The noise is around. For some of us, it ain't even other people. We won't shut up in our own mind. We don't calm down and get quiet so we can hear y'all. Quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to get angry. You want to hear from y'all? 
Don't be so easily offended when the world does rotten things to you. Be slow to anger. Do you know Yah is slow to anger over you? You know he could have been finished you off and should have been finished me off. Hallelujah. We're talking about turning the volume up in our life so that we can hear from Yahusha, hear his very words and walk with him and take off and walk right into eternity. Hallelujah. This is the last way right here. The greatest one of all, this is the best scripture to be able to hear Yah. It says in Revelation chapter 3, beginning in verse 19 and going to 21. I was just going to give you 20, but we're going to keep this in context. He says, those I love, those that I love, and we know he loves us, right? I rebuke. To hear his voice, we have to take, be able to take correction, beloved. These are the things that show that you are growing up in Hamashiach. Those I love, I rebuke and I discipline. What do you think we've been going through the last 400 plus years, beloved, as the true Hebrews? Those that I chasten, we've been going through chastening. We've been going through rebuke. We've been going through disciplining. It's because he loves his people. He like, remember the scripture says in the Old Testament, I didn't forget you. You, you are written in the palm of my hand. We, we look like that Yah gave up on us, but he did not. Those I love, I rebuke and discipline. Therefore, be earnest and repent. Be earnest, be authentic in your repentance. You want to hear it? Yah's voice? Be serious about it. Be serious about your repentance and your turning away from wickedness. You'll begin to hear his voice so clearly. It says, behold, this is Yahusha speaking. I stand at the door of, him, of you being able to hear me. You being able to have eternal life. I stand at the door and knock. I'm not just standing on the outside of the door. I'm knocking on your heart right now. If anyone hears my voice and open the door, open your heart then. I will come in. I will come in and I'll dine with him. I will, I will take up residence in your heart and in your life. And you'll be amazed by the life that I give you. I will come in and dine with him and, and he with me. You'll have that fellowship that you want. Conversations with the king of glory. To the one who overcomes, I will grant the right to sit with me on my throne. Just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Hallelujah. I'm done right there. I pray that this is an encouragement for you. I pray that this lifts up your spirit. Hallelujah. Pray for me as I'm still on my fast. Hallelujah. I'm emptying myself. I'm destroying the flesh by fasting so that I can turn up the volume. Hear Yahusha's voice. We are Israel. Amen, family. I'm second. <sighs> love your fam. Love your fam. Love your fam. Sevens. Kick them sevens out. <laughs>